So this, this is the ASUS ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 powered by the 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor. And on the outside, it looks just like any other normal ROG gaming laptop that you might see. But when you open it up, it becomes clear that things are not as they appear. There's two screens and we're gonna talk about it. Actually, me and Cooper are gonna, Cooper, come on. Me and Cooper are gonna talk about it. Come on up here, bud. Come on up. Oh, there you go. Good boy. You got something in your eye there, partner. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. When Asus originally reached out and said, hey, we wanna send over the Zephyrus Duo to showcase it on the channel, I was, I was a bit skeptical about this dual screen thing. I thought, yeah, that's a cool idea, but honestly, could it really be a better experience than if you were just gaming on like a normal, like a normal gaming laptop? Yeah, yeah it is. And after using this for the past few months, I don't know if I can go back. Can you go back, Cooper? Yeah, you can't go back. Now this Zephyrus Duo that I have came equipped with an i7-10876H processor, which is an eight core, 16 thread processor from Intel that can boost up to 5.1 gigahertz. The GPU inside this one is the RTX 2070 Super Max-Q, and for RAM, we got 32 gigs running at 3200 megahertz. So as for storage, this one came with two one terabyte M.2 SSDs running in RAID 0, giving it two terabytes of storage. So it can probably run Modern Warfare like twice. You can put it on there twice if you wanted to, at least once. All in all though, this is a pretty solid gaming solution packed into a relatively small package. The Zephyrus Duo 15, is only 36 centimeters by 26.8 centimeters by 2.09 centimeters thick. And I haven't even gotten to my favorite part yet. The displays. Now your primary display is a 15.6 inch 1080p display uh, with G-Sync, which is awesome. And it has a three milliseconds response time and it's running at a whopping 300 Hertz. And I love high refresh rate monitors. I'll take a 1080p high refresh rate monitor over something like 4K 60 on this size monitor any day. And this is the fastest one they've ever used and it's buttery smooth. The secondary monitor is a touchscreen and has a resolution of 3840 by 1100 and it runs at 60 Hertz. Another thing you might've noticed about this laptop is the placement of the keyboard. Because we have this secondary monitor, uh, the keyboard had to move down and to the left and the touchpad, well, it had to go over to the right. Kind of where you would find a number pad on a normal keyboard layout. Hint, hint. And although this does take a little bit of getting used to, I will say that after using it for a while, I actually prefer it like this over like the standard keyboard layout you would find on a laptop kind of in the middle. Reason being, I find it I find it actually more comfortable to type when the laptop's on your lap and the keys are kind of right there. You don't have to reach in front of you to get to them. And then when you're using on a desk, you can use the included, you know, wrist rest. Or if you have a third party foam one that you really like, you can just easily slide up next to the, next to the laptop and use it pretty easily. Now the touchpad being on the right side is actually something I prefer. Uh, for one, when you're typing on the laptop, you don't have to worry about your wrist activating it. And, um, at least for me, being a right-handed person, when you're kind of just chilling on the couch, surfing the internet, uh, the right side is kind of where your right hand normally normally falls. So it works really good for me. If you're left-handed, you might have a different opinion, but I actually like this layout. I think, uh, I think a lot more companies should do this. What I like the most about this is the fact that it's dual purpose. Now I mentioned, or I hinted at the beginning that it's kind of where you would find a number pad. Well, there's a reason for that. If you touch and hold the top left corner of this, it actually becomes a number pad. And I think that's awesome. It works really well. It's very responsive, easy to use. I think that's a great, great idea. And it's executed very well. The keyboard feels good to type on. All the keys are individually backlit with RGB, which is awesome. No complaints there. The Armory Crate software that comes installed on this laptop uh, has a lot of good functionality. What I use it for the most though is just using it as like a system monitor. You can throw it down on this secondary screen, just monitor your CPU and GPU, you know, frequencies and temperatures and see where everything's kind of settling at as you're gaming, which is something I really like to do. Kind of, kind of, I don't, I like to do it on my desktop too. I always have my secondary screen having the parameters of what's going on in the system. And I like that you can do it here. Now, another little bonus to the secondary screen is the added ventilation it gives you. So the fans are actually right behind it, kind of where the little graphics are. When you open the laptop up, it just, as it tilts up, it just opens up those fans to nothing but fresh air. So there's nothing blocking them. They get all the cool air that they could ever want. And it actually works out pretty good. The i7-10875H in this laptop scored 1,750 in Cinebench R15. And then after five runs back to back, the cooler was able to, you know, keep the temperatures stable and the score is pretty much the same leveling out about low to mid 80s. Now I do have it set to performance mode. You can go through a few different presets and then obviously manual you got 
performance, silent, and you know, turbo mode, which is the fastest fan setting. And it's not quiet, it's got good airflow, but you, you can hear it. Um, this is just Overwatch training area. We've got epic presets, and we're getting about 120, 121 FPS. But the best part is down here on this other screen. Intel actually reached out to gamers and was like, hey, what do you guys, uh, what do you guys want in a gaming laptop? And that's how we ended up with this companion screen. I love this. So while we're in game, we can monitor our frequency of our CPU. We can see the usage. We can see the temperature. Right now we're sitting about 70. We can see our GPU. We can see we're above. Actually, right now it's saying we're ROG boost overclock and you can see kind of where the base clock is and everything. So right now we're at 1,635 megahertz on the GPU and it's at about 72 degrees Celsius. And I don't know about you guys, I guess maybe not for everybody, but I love being able to monitor the parameters of the system, making sure nothing's going crazy. Just seeing where everything's at is awesome. Then you can also see your RAM and your storage. Perfect. For IO on the left side, you have DC in along with 3.5 millimeter audio out and 3.5 millimeter microphone in. On the back side, you have HDMI 2.0B, USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A, and an RJ45. And on the right side, you have two more USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A's and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type USB-C with DisplayPort support, power delivery, G-Sync, and all the good stuff like Thunderbolt 3. When it comes to speakers, this thing's actually, for a laptop, pretty loud. About what? Foot and a half away right now? These are all the way turned up though. Definitely on the top end for laptops. Now something else that I think this would be actually very useful for is Twitch streaming. I actually just started Twitch streaming myself. Uh, follow me on Twitch if you want to. But if you were on the, on the road and you wanted to do some Twitch streaming while you're going somewhere, this would be great for being able to stream and then be able to monitor chat down below so you can stay engaged with your viewers and everything. I think that'd be a really good idea. Now keep in mind that this laptop setup comes with um, like a camera optional. So I don't have the camera uh, is, is an option in mind, so I don't know how good it is, but it does have microphones. It has a microphone array, you got two down here, and they're actually pretty decent. But as you can tell, we're listening to it now. I'm pretty far away from about two foot, and you can hear me just fine. But the best thing is that this laptop has an RTX 2070, so you can go and use something like RTX Voice and make this 10 times better. Like I said, when I started with this, I was skeptical of the dual screen, but uh, ASUS has really made me, They've made me a believer. The ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 is a phenomenal gaming machine, and I really do enjoy the fact that you have two screens, and I, I, don't, I don't honestly think I'll be able to go back to just a single display laptop. This is going to be my daily driving laptop for years to come. And the extra space that it provides for productivity is even better, and the fact that you have eight cores, 16 threads, make this a very, a very usable solution for anybody that's gotta do video editing on the move and streaming. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Asus for sending this over. It's been a great laptop. I really enjoy it, and I hope to use it for a lot longer. Cooper, I appreciate uh, how quiet you were. <laughs> you weren't really, didn't really say much, but you know, they, they understand that you like it too. Till next time.